Terve, everyone, and welcome to Monday, June 17th, 2024. I'm Joe Pratt, keeping you informed of what's happening in the world. While most of us are paying attention to the Israel-Hamas war, the U.S. Navy is involved in its most intense fighting since World War II. The U.S. is leading a military campaign against the Houthi rebels in Yemen. The Houthi rebels are backed by Iran. And in a related story, the Houthis have claimed online that they have hit and sunk the aircraft carrier, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. So the crew of the Eisenhower have posted their own videos showing that the aircraft is still very much alive and performing well. The U.S. believes the Houthis are trying to inspire others and boost morale by showing a false report of success that they have actually haven't had. A huge drug bust happened in Germany where $2.6 billion worth of cocaine was seized. They seized many tons of cocaine from several German cities and even seized some of it in Colombia, where it appears to have originated. The suspects that were arrested come from Germany, Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Morocco, Turkey, and Ukraine. And in another story from Germany, Three Germans were arrested on suspicion of spying for China. They are accused of transferring information to China about military technology. Honduras is creating a mega prison, a huge prison that will hold 20,000 inmates. Honduras is trying to crack down on gang violence and organized crime in the country. They are attempting to prosecute drug traffickers as terrorists and Honduras is trying to duplicate what they did in El Salvador, where they built a 40,000 capacity facility, the largest in Latin America. Here in the U.S., extreme temperatures across the country. Most of it is unusual heat, some of it unusual cold. In the Midwest and Northeast, it's been very hot, and 70 million people are under heat advisories. In Phoenix, temperatures hit 112, where that doesn't usually happen until later in July. 645 people have died uh, from the heat in Phoenix in 2023, and June has started off almost 6 degrees hotter for this time of year than normal. The place uh, it's cooler than normal is the Pacific, uh, the Pacific Northwest. Country music star George Strait has broken the record for the largest attendance at a concert ever. 110,905 fans at Kyle Field in College Station, Texas, came out to George Strait, breaking uh, the old record by almost 4,000, set by the Grateful Dead in 1977. In sports, the U.S. Open Golf Tournament, one of the four major tournaments, concluded yesterday, and Bryson DeChambeau was the winner. He won for the second time in his career at the U.S. Open. The NBA, the NBA playoffs continue tonight with Game 5 in Boston. The Celtics lead the series three games to one. And Joseph Gray won the Mount Washington Road Race for a record-setting eighth time. The Mount Washington Road Race goes to the top of the highest peak in New England, 6,288 feet. And, of course, that's Mount Washington. It took Joseph Gray one hour and two minutes to get to the summit. From the You're Never Too Old files, Al Blaschke reclaimed a skydiving record he previously held but lost. Al Blaschke set the world record for the oldest skydiver in history. He was 106 years old when he set the record three years older than the man who broke and set the new record at 103. Carl von Kreese has created an invention that is a portable plastic factory that runs on solar power. He can set up his miniature factory anywhere in the world and can produce plastic, jo plastic jugs, boat frames, water tanks, all kinds of things, and all driven by solar power. Happy birthday if it's yours today. You share a birthday with composer Igor Stravinsky. Uh, Ruth Wakefield, who's the maker of the first chocolate chip cookie. Newt Gingrich, Joe Piscopo, speed skater Dan Jansen, Barry Manilow, K. 
Kendrick Lamar, and tennis star Venus Williams. The top five at the box office this last week was The Watchers at number five, four was The Garfield Movie, three was Kingdom of Planet of the Apes, number two was Bad Boys Ride, or Die, and number one was Inside Out 2, which, which had four times the attendance as the number two movie. The quote from the World's Sacred Works for today comes from the Quran, 4134. And not equal are the good deed and the bad. Repel evil by that deed which is better. And thereupon the one whom between you and him is enmity will become as though he was a devoted friend. A sign on a store reads, Welcome to 99 Cent Plaza, everything 99 cents or less, and up. Joe Pratt, make it a great day.